Welcome back, everybody, to another LaKenya Learns a Lesson, my 20-something. Well, let's get to 23. 23. Okay, so 23. Let's see. Completed a whole year of being with one person. Um, <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was cool, you know. Going on to that second year. During this time, I was not in church. I mean, I knew, I knew God, but I didn't know him, know him. You know, I was still just trying to be in the bed. Like, I would literally just get up in the morning, roll up one, do what I need to do, eat, and go back to bed. That was my Sundays. But the person that I was dating, little church boy, so church boy wanted to drag me out to church. I put it off and put it off as much as I could. So he finally was like, no, you're gonna have to go to church. So I went to church. It was cool for the first, I mean, you know, I kept to myself, you know, um, but it was cool. I met some amazing people. Um, two of them are still in my life. However, I also encountered pressure. So the lesson that I learned in this particular time period, diamonds can withstand a lot of pressure, but they don't break. The things I wish I learned is that I wish I had a mind of my own. I allowed the influence and the judgment and the pressure of what people thought I needed to do. Or This was back when I didn't know that walking with Christ was more of a relationship and not a bunch of rules and regulations. So I was pressured into doing something that I was not ready for because of rules and regulations. And I wish that I had a mind of my own and I wish that I knew that it was more about relationship. I wouldn't have made that step. But moving on, 24, I got married. Um, yeah, neither me or him were ready for it. Another lesson I wish I learned during that time period is I should have been healed first. Me and him both should have been healed first. We both were coming out of, you know, relationships or whatever. And we just, we know no better. If I could go back and talk to my 24-year-old self, I would say, hey, 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 hold on first. But... You know, it is what it is. 25, come around, married, don't know what I'm doing, doing marriage all wrong um, on both ends. I end up losing my apartment, evicted, homeless. It was, it was a pretty tough, tough period, you know. 25 was, 25 was a little tough, but I made it, you know. Um, what I could tell, what I wish I could tell my 25 year old self is I surely wish I knew more about saving and credit around that time. Cause I didn't know nothing about saving and credit. I was working a decent job, but baby was broke. <laughs> and then I had pressure from bills and, you know, will I ever go back to school? Pressure from, will I ever be a good wife? Pressure from all directions. However, I did not break. It's a couple scratches, a little chip here and there, but I ain't break. 23 through 25 was some years where I had to quickly grow up. And I really wish, really wish that I did not fall to pressure. And I really wish that I had a mind of my own. To all of those that are under pressure. If it's positive pressure, that pressure needs to be applied. But if that pressure is putting you in a place of depression, if that pressure is making you 
It's giving you anxiety. Walk away. Leave it alone. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> Take your time. Get your mind right before you make a decision that would that can change your life. So yeah, that was 23 through 25. Listen, if please tell me if you ever had a situation or felt all this pressure was, was being applied and you just had to and you fell to it. Like you just like, oh man, I wish I didn't fall. I wish I had not done that. What could you tell yourself? What advice would you tell your 23 to 25 year old self. Me, it's all about relationship and it's not about rules. That's what I would tell myself. If I had known that, if I was taught that, and if I had held on to that, I believe I would have made some different decisions or at least made some decisions later on that were well thought out. All right, but I want y'all to leave a comment below. Let me know what, what would you have told yourself? When you were 23 or 24 or 25 years old. I'll see y'all next week. Woo, next week. Y'all pray for me because 26 through 28. That was something else. You share your journey as I share mine and we can walk this thing out together. I'll see y'all next week.